Hi everybody, this is Christelle, Vintage Christelle here at YouTube and Christelle at Etsy.com and uh, Christelle at YourPaperPantry.ning um, I'm a member there. So I just wanted to be here in my scrapbook room, craft room, studio, office, multi-purpose room and show you my bulletin board idea board that I have in here. It's part of the um, decor of the room, but it serves a purpose. And I wanted to talk about some very thrifty ideas I had for you for scrapbooking and altered art and uh, tag making, card making, anything like that. I have some ideas that I've uh, thought of and found over the uh, past few years. And I wanted to... Uh, share them with you. So one of my first ideas, I'll get down to it, was um, that you can take a vintage book. I just grabbed this one. It's uh, this copy of it. It's from 1952, but it's really better to grab a book before the 1930s because if you do, um, that was uh, before they had licensing and copyright laws and um, so you won't get in trouble for uh, pilfering anybody's work. <laughs> but anyway, what I wanted to show you was how um, some of the older books have such neat graphics, either on the outside or the inside. Maybe the inside pages are marbled, or, um, or uh, they have a neat book plate in there or something that you can copy and use for your own artwork. But this one uh, has a neat... Uh, little sort of um, medieval cross on it and this this border is really pretty with the leaves and so what you can do is take that and put it in your own printer and scan it and then uh, print out the pages and just cut it out to use as a border on your cards and you know I'll give you a wrong example of it but say I have this strip on this card for of uh, scrapbooking paper and you can use uh, you could use that border instead, you know. So uh, uh, anyway, then another idea was for twenty five cents, which I commonly will find um, twenty five cents to a dollar on a piece of sheet music. So here's an antique piece of sheet music, and you can use those papers like I'll show you later, those uh, pages of music you can use as a background, which I did in this uh, card as well. I copied it, scanned it onto a piece of um, linen colored uh, acid-free paper. And you want to get acid-free paper because your things will, uh, older papers, if you can use this and Maybe you won't mind, but the older papers get, they get foxing, which is a, a, a book term for that brown edge. And you don't want your scrapbook papers that you made to get brittle. So um, that was only 25 cents. That's a really great idea. Then online, you can get, uh, there are several sources, but I'll tell you a couple of them are um, Semeroni, that is S-E-M-E-R-O-N-Y on um, online and the Graphics Fairy. I think Semeroni, the, um, the owner's name is Julia Vanderwolf, and she she sells on Etsy, but she has uh, free images that she has online that you can obtain. And if you belong to your paper pantry, there are other people, and I have put on a few uh, different digital collage sheets. These were my grandmother's postcards that I uh, for Easter that I put up as a free digital collage sheet that you can cut out and use in your own artwork. And then just yesterday, my sister brought me some family photos and cards and everything. There was this cute um, Happy Easter Sister card on there. So I'll, I'll 
um, cut those out, put them on the front of a card, gl glitz up the flowers, and put something where there originally was a little fluffy cotton tail, and and uh, make some card for my sisters. So another thing I'd like to show you is that uh, I'll get down here so I can show you better. But I, for fifty cents, I went to my local um, paint store. And they will sell you a paint can, this, an unused can, and so therefore you don't have to take off any labels or anything. And that's what I keep my glue gun in so that um, it sets right in there. It doesn't uh, conduct heat and it's not going to start a fire. <laughs> and um, so I wouldn't recommend that on this particular surface that you decorate it like you would uh, a pencil holder or anything but uh, because it gets too hot you know it'll come off there I put a note for myself the other day turn this off and <laughs> don't forget to turn this off and uh, it got stuck to it because the glue had heated up <laughs> don't do things like I do <laughs> um, so the other thing that I wanted to show you, another freebie idea, was that um, I use uh, the Reader's Digest condensed books. Used to come with, um, I don't really want to read books that are condensed. I like books and I want to read them in their original form. But the older ones used to come with these pretty decorate, decorative co covers. Blah decorative book covers. And so if you maybe you have somebody you can give the books to, I don't know, I don't want to just waste them. You can get low, don't, donate the books or read them to your local hospital uh, or uh, assisted living center or something like that. But And I can use the pages too, but anyway I cut these off. I had my husband cut them off for me. And then you can use them for altered art journals. Have uh, Drill a hole in there or use whatever kind of a thing that you have for scrapbooking. Um, you know, binders or coils or binding machines or whatever you call it. But it's a neat way to get something for free because the thrift stores give them away for free. They, um, at our, all of our local thrift stores, they give away Reader's Digest and they give away um, National Geographics. So, how's that for a good idea for a freebie? And then you can take these um, covers and put some of the free art that you get on there, you know. You can match up your, your uh, Green Easter pictures and your green condensed book covers. So anyway, I wanted to show you uh, my bulletin board, my idea board. I know the light's not terrific today. Uh, I'm running out of daylight. But anyway, this, this particular board I got at the thrift store and it cost uh, $2.00. You can obtain your own board at um, the Office Depot for about 20 something, and they also have them at uh, Walmart for they start at five and go up to 20 some odd dollars for just a cork board, which is what this is. I'm trying to use my husband's camera instead of mine, and I don't really know how to operate it really well, so. I hope that it's everything's coming in okay. And um, so anyway, like I said, this one's uh, 22 by 35. And what I did is take that vintage sheet music and cover the whole back of it. And all I did was take some uh, little thumbtacks, which um, I don't know if you could see that one very well, but it's holding up this. A bag of antique buttons. It's one of my favorite buttons. They're they're uh, 
half moon mother of pearl buttons really cute and so uh, I covered I took sheets of music out and covered the board and then I started decorating with things like uh, this is one of my mother's vintage hat pins stuck in the cork and my own tags that I had made and see there I've put um, antique stamps and this is one of my um, little gardeners I call it um, I put things like these flash cards that are from their French flash cards and uh, I sell those on my Etsy shop I have a picture of me and uh, that's when we were in New York a couple of years ago and I was freezing freezing cold so I have on several sweatshirts and fleece and coats there. <laughs> but we were at Rockefeller Center watching the skaters and we saw this this chocolate store um, had this be beautiful flower display so one thing that I've done is for free art taken my friends cards that they have uh, given me business cards or sent a card with the um, things that I had bought on Etsy or um, eBay and that's ready-made art so uh, I put that up there there's a vintage bank note that I had um, a uh, over here is a piece of um, there's a similar napkin with a brooch newer made to look older brooch and uh, a piece of paper that I stamped myself with an old wallpaper roller stamp there's a piece of my mom's tissue that was lining her drawers she lives in heaven um, another of my little gardener tags um, another one I made and then here is a antique uh, I think it was French this, this is like amazing uh, piece of um, well, it's a, a bodice piece designed to go on a dress, and it's um, on the piece of paper from the salesman. It has French writing on it, and it's it's on tulle. It's all sequins and beads, and that was something I found at the at a thrift store in a in a little bag full of sewing stuff crunched in there so that's amazing there's an antique shoe clip I had um so anyway you, you, you know you have similar stuff in your sewing drawers and things you buy from the thrift shop or yard sale or something there's my uh, friend Janet's tag she sent me Janet lives in Wales and she's an excellent um, artist one of my friends from your paper pantry and uh, one of my YouTube friends too. So there, as a piece of art in the center of the board, I put um, just an Anna Griffin magazine ad that I thought was pretty. And there's one of my flowers. My sister taught me how to make those. Um, I think it's organza flowers that you uh, burn them out they're hmm, I want to say they're called poppies but that's not it <laughs> I'll think of it later so there's uh, an old film frame and a newer key an antique button I hope you can see that but that is one of the things I uh, put on one of my recent tags I had another one of those and sold it in my Etsy shop there's that year of that sheet music really great for as inexpensive as it is and this is a piece of um, an antique collar 
isn't that beautiful with all that little fancy um, cord sew cording and sewing and embroidery and so I'll stick something up there like uh, the little piece has sequins and there's a, a ribbon too but there's a little piece on tool that has jewels and sequins if you can see that and so I'll say to myself okay well I'm gonna make a tag like Janet made and I'm gonna use that um, fabric on the bottom and I'm gonna decorate the use the little beads at um, the top or wherever so I don't know where I got the uh, mermaid I think it was just at a thrift shop or something anyway um, here's a card that I made um, that I was going to sell in my shop and then I, I didn't want to let go of it <laughs> but it was, um, it was a Paris card and I had purchased some um, collage bits and things from one of my Etsy friends and uh, there's just a metal house letter a card that I was that was in a ephemera lot that I bought on line and let me see if I can get this to show you. There's one of my antique buttons from my from my mom. And there's a tag from my friend at Monarch Lineage on Etsy and those might be like hat pins, but she's glued them in so I can't take them out, otherwise I would use that in something. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what you can do and do like I did make a punch with your scrapbook paper and stick those stamps on there that you got for free and I'll be back with some other fun um, and inexpensive ideas and hints for you soon and God bless you guys have a great day T give me some feedback and tell me if you like the video bye